Hello everyone, welcome to another episode from Investing with the Difference. So today we are going to focus on all the discussion around decentralization and uh, we will look at the facts while I think people are very emotional about uh, this discussion around EOS versus Ethereum and why Ethereum is better than EOS just because it is more decentralized. And uh, so today our focus is to look at uh, what is the reality. So this is the etherchain.org uh, uh, which shows you uh, the miners, the top miners. So as you know, Ether, Ethereum is a proof of work uh, blockchain. That means that anybody can mine uh, provided you have the enough hash rate. And uh, the total hash rate as of now today is uh, 280 tera uh, hash per second and uh, let us look at the top miners and as you know that a lot of mining pools are driving the mining these days and let's look at the chart itself here you see that uh, the top five miners are controlling more than 75 percent of the mining pool and uh, they are responsible for producing blocks so right now for example in last 24 hours there were 5831 blocks produced and the top miner itself produced more than 25 percent of those blocks and that is uh, 1548 while the hash rate is only 24.6 percent uh, that is actually misleading because if you look at it the blocks produced were more than 25 percent um, of the total and uh, that is uh, why these bigger and bigger mining pools are able to control the chain because uh, more the hashing power they can actually get better percentage and better returns on their investments and uh, this is what is driving ethereum today while of course anybody can mine it and there are a lot of people who have like very small hash power they are getting some very small returns and uh, it is uh, automatically going to get consolidated here this is how most of the world works if you know how the data centers work everything consolidated by google uh, amazon and microsoft of the world similarly these companies are becoming very big now and uh, they are controlling and they are kicking out all the small miners uh, because they are not profitable now let us look at eos so how eos works eos is actually not it's a top 21 block producer which are actually voted by the people and they produce in rotation so everybody gets a chance to produce blocks in a two minutes and six seconds i believe and uh, they are basically uh, producing for six seconds uh, in a rotation basis so there's no single block producer who is going to produce um, extra blocks and the rewards are based on the votes and uh, even if you're not producing more than 21 there are some backup block producer as you can see they are marked here and they can take over any time one of the top block producer go down and uh, they are able to uh, continue mining or you can call it mining but it is not really mining because eos is a delegated proof of stake it is not wasteful uh, another aspect we are going to talk about a little while later but i think uh, just to compare with ethereum anybody can start eos just like ethereum you can start a node so if you go down in the list right now even though they don't have much vote and they are not really making blocks uh, they are almost 396 block producers are registered today which is uh, almost similar to what is happening in ethereum and if you go down in ethereum list you will see a lot of them are actually not producing any blocks there's a zero block here even though somebody is there so it's very similar and uh, it doesn't matter whether anybody can do it or you need votes it's you need to understand that these are open source blockchains anybody can join them but eos has designed a democratic system where every token holder can vote in ethereum you cannot vote you cannot vote one of the top miners out if they are behaving badly now when you are invested in ethereum you are at the mercy of these miners and uh, in the eos you have the capability to vote them out you have and even the block producers um there has to be somebody to do bad you need more than 15 that is more than two-thirds of the majority that means 15 block producers have to collude to make anything uh, which is not good or make any changes to the code which is running or taking benefit from the blockchain in a negative way but if you in ethereum uh, the 51 percent attack can happen if three of these coll collude uh, instead of 15 so these are some of the facts which are basically just by looking at number of people who are producing blocks and so on and finally before i close this video uh, ethereum energy consumption this is really getting crazy proof of work is not working you're talking about 
20 terawatt hours of uh, electricity which is going energy consumption which is going into uh, mining ethereum and this is why i think a proof of stake is the way to go even ethereum has agreed and uh, uh, vitalik buterin has agreed that uh, in future they are going to be moving to depos and uh, if you look at it the currently they are talking about the number of us household that could power by ethereum is uh, more than almost 2 million households uh, they can be powered and forget about us there are a lot of countries who do not have electricity still in some areas and uh, the wastefulness of proof of work is very obvious now what other things i wanted to talk about is their the scalability ethereum is struggling to scale and uh, they are they want to go to proof of stake at some point all those things now i would just finally highlight one thing this is a article written in techcrunch by an ex google engineer he was working for google in early days i will post a link down you everybody should le- read this why google beat yahoo in the war for the internet so if we believe that blockchain is the next internet uh, you should read this and you will figure out why ethereum is like yahoo which is uh, trying to backfit and try to scale by just upgrading what they have while google what they did was they reinvented the search and uh, they designed from scratch what is uh, scalable and they designed looking at the future and that's exactly what eos has done and i i hope that everybody goes through this article it's uh, i don't want to spend time de- describing it but basic idea here is that you can only do so much to scale up by backfitting into some technology which is not scalable and when something new comes it which is already designed for scalability that can really make a huge difference so we should all as i keep saying that we should all focus on the technology rather than this debate around uh, uh, centralization decentralization there are always pros and cons of this uh, technologies as uh, proof of work was designed to be very very well decentralized so i agree on that but in reality these big mining pools are controlling ethereum and uh, this is uh, i think a concern which ethereum should have rather than throwing stones at each other we should look at the solutions and uh, all of them have a place ethereum has been responsible for creating this whole ecosystem of uh, smart contracts and we should all appreciate them and ethereum should appreciate uh, eos that uh, we, the eos is changing uh, the n- the nature of blockchain the scalability creating a more fair system for block producers and uh, giving everybody a chance and in a more democratic way uh, by using voting by using uh, equal weightage to each block producer the 21 block producers which are selected uh, by the democratic process so again thanks a lot for joining um, we hope that uh, people will have a nice debate rather than always getting emotionally attached to their projects and uh, not learning and we don't want people to uh, stop innovating because of this and embar- uh, embrace whatever is uh, coming like eos is something which uh, can change the world and uh, we hope that everybody starts supporting uh, the whoever project is better technically so thanks again for joining bye for now and keep uh, watching our videos and do press like if you like the content and uh, do subscribe if you are already not subscribed thanks a lot bye bye